All right, all right. Count it all joy. Again, that was Miss Ruth Leandra. You're tuned in live right here on the Faith Walking Faithful Broadcast again with yours truly, the King's daughter, Naomi. Again, it's, it, it is. I don't say this lightly, but it's always, always a privilege and an honor to be here with you, listening audience. I'm telling you, if you didn't tune in, we wouldn't have an audience. But because you tune in, thank you so much for giving us an audience and you're so appreciated. I don't take your time for granted. So it is always, always an honor to be here with you. We have with us Pastor Claritha Hatton Jackson. Thank you so much, Pastor, for tuning in and uh, sharing your ministry gift with us. How are you? Oh, thank you so much for having me. I am blessed. How about you? I tell you what, God is good to me. <laughs> I am certainly, certainly yes, blessed. <laughs> and I tell you, it's it's such an honor to have you, man. I, I love me some Dietrich Hatton. I got to tell you, to meet his family is just like, boy, I tell you, I'm almost feeling like part of the family. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that means you are, you you are then, because we're all God's children, Come and uh, we're family anyway. <laughs> there you go, there you go. That is awesome. So, I mean, tell the listening audience and myself, just let us know a little bit of something about you, a little bit of background. Tell us, you know, who you are, where you come from, and, um, you know, how you got started in your uh, gospel journey. Well, I am... Um of course, my name is Clarita Haddon Jackson, and I'm born and raised in Detroit, Michigan, right along with Dietrich Haddon, Gerald Haddon, Zena Kersey, <laughs> and all the other Haddon children, David Haddon. Um, and we were born and raised in the house of pastor and preacher and, and prophetess, and, you know, we all have gifts and calls to the ministry in, in one area or another. So uh, That's we awesome. got our, our, our experience in living in the house of the pastor, and God anointed us and all gave us gifts and so we're just moving forward and doing what God has called each and every one of us to do, and we're glad about it. That's what I'm talking about. That is awesome. <laughs> uh, man, you, look, I'm sorry. Look, how does it feel to just, I mean, just fame in the family? I mean, it's just, <laughs> I know this. How, how, does, how does it feel, just fame in the family? Well, you know, it, it, it it's always good to know somebody that is somebody. But the the cool thing is, is when all the lights, the camera and everything goes off, there you we're go. all able to talk to each other and love each other and have dinner and act like we got some sense. So that's the blessing. You know, everybody loves God and we love each other. And, and that's the really good thing about it. That is a blessing. That is the blessing yeah. because you're, show, you're right. I mean, we get to see the cameras and stuff, and I'm telling you, we truly have a love for uh, our brother D. Hatton and, um, you know, all the others that come along. And, and it's just, you know, to be able to feed so many families, it's just awesome. And we just appreciate your giftings. We appreciate your faithfulness and your dedication to our God. And I'm telling you, I know it ain't always easy, but you stand, and that's what makes the difference. And I tell yes, you, ma'am. we can appreciate it. Uh, we can appreciate it. I don't. I don't mean to put anybody on a pedestal. That's for sure, because I do love my Jesus Christ, and I know there's none before Him. <laughs> but um, I have to give y'all y'all props. I appreciate it so. It's such an honor to be able to have you here, oh. and I tell you for real. Um, Thank you so much. You you know I don't know what I'm gonna do if I hear D heading on this other end, but I'm looking forward to speaking with him. <laughs> Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I am, man. I'm telling you. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. <laughs> so, so tell us a little bit about your your um, musical career background. I mean, how did you get started in music? I know y'all started up, like you said, you was raised with pastors. So, tell us a little bit more about you and and your gifting. Well, you know, um, of course, like I said, singing in church and and for over over 15 years I sang behind my brother every uh, every album he ever put out I was somewhere on it oh, I was okay. singing background please so I've been around for quite a minute I'm not really not trying to tell my age but uh, <laughs> I've been there <laughs> I've been there and you see me I, I just look a little different now because my hair is a little blue but uh so but everything else is the same you know I've been I've been doing that a long time and also God blessed me to be able to do some other things in the secular arena. You know, I made some music alongside my husband. We were on the Fast Five soundtrack. Um, 
and we were also on a couple records with Eminem and Ludacris and a few other artists, you know, and God is just so good, just to be able to be a light in darkness and take our our gifts and actually touch people with them and see people's lives change, their attitude change, their mannerisms change when we're around because they understand the difference in them and us, you know. So God has given us so many opportunities and outlets to be able to use our gifts for the ministry uh, in church and outside of church. And I'm just grateful to be, you know, and I'm a pastor's wife now. So, hey. You know, I've been married 14 years. We, we've only been pastoring the church since Dietrich moved to Los Angeles. And uh, for three years, we've been pastoring the church in culture. And I'm just here and glad to be here. Like on, on Come to America, I'm just happy to be here. <laughs> That is awesome. That is awesome. Well, I'm so happy to meet you. <laughs> and I'm sure the listening <laughs> audience is as well. And um, wow. So tell us about this 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 hot new single you got out titled Help Me. Well, yes, this new single Help Me, it is really making some really uh, some noise in the industry. And I'm so grateful. And uh, thank God so much for um, About the World who allow me to even be able to come to the I Am God's Woman conference to, to help debut that single there. Right. And um, this single is just amazing. God has blessed us with a song that really touches people's hearts. Um, the message of the song, asking God for help because this life is not easy. Things happen. Life happens. It throws up curveballs. But if we're just strong enough to make it through the moment by opening up our mouth and asking God for help, he will certainly come to our aid. So that's the purpose of this song, just allowing our, ourselves to open up to God and tell him that we can't do it without him. We just need his help. Oh, okay. That's awesome. Well, we're going to play a little bit of Help Me because this will be my first time hearing it along with the listening audience, and I'm excited. So we're going right. to share Help Me, and I just want everybody to enjoy this with me. Amen. This is Miss Claritha Hatton. Pastor Miss Claritha Hatton. Won't you help me hold on to my gifts? Hold on, hold on, oh, trials, through storms. Every day I try to hold on through heartache, pain. Every day I try to hold on. My Savior, my Father. Every day I try to hold on. Your name, strong tower.
<laughs> He'll help you. He gonna help you, sister. He got you. <laughs> Hey <laughs> man, God help us, help us all. I tell you, that is awesome. I like that. I like that beat, man. That's tight. That is. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> that Thank is. You. That's awesome. Uh, so you say you have your own record label? Yes, ma'am. We do. We do have our own record label. It's called Portal Records. Um, my husband is is a producer, and and he helps me make all this beautiful music. And uh, we have a partnership, and it's awesome to work together with such a man as I, who is a preacher, a pastor, a father, a husband, and he's a producer. It's amazing. God is so good to me. <laughs> That's awesome. You say it's called Florida? Portal. Porter. P-O-R. Portal Records, like portals in heaven. Portal. Portals. Okay, awesome. That is awesome. Portal, portal Records. That's good. Yeah, man. Thank you. Got to keep them porters closed to the devil and open to God. That is awesome. <laughs> that is awesome. Wow. So now this song is titled Help Me. I love it. I mean, it, it's really put together nicely. I love it, love it, love it. So let's help somebody out there. When you're going through Amen. a circumstance and a situation in, in life and you really feel like, you know, I, I can't do this on my own and, Somebody better help me. Somebody better help me. <laughs> I, I want you to don't be- <laughs> come on now. Talk to somebody. <laughs> mm-hmm. they, they're in that situation where they like, you know what? If somebody don't help me, I, I can't be helped. Uh, somebody right. need to be Jesus Christ. Hey, go ahead and talk to that person. I, I want you to inspire someone out there that's in that situation that's right now, that's listening, tuned in. I need a word. I need something because of the situation or circumstance that's gotten them uh, to entangled up right now. I just want you to speak to their heart right now. Yes, no problem. You know, I, I want to say something to those of you who are in a, in a situation where you feel like your back is mm-hmm. up against the wall, life has taken its, its toll on you, and you feel like you can't make it. Let me tell you something. I have been in a position where I felt like I couldn't make it. And a lot of people have been in that same position that you're in right now. But we understand that they, we serve a God who is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all we can ask and think. And yes. all you have to do is have it in your heart to trust Him and to know that He will not leave you where you are. Hmm. Let me say to you that no matter how many tears you cried, no matter how many times you've been in a situation where it felt like there was no way out, we serve a God who is able, and if you do not yet serve him, I'm going to say to you, give him a chance to teach you about his love. He loves you too much for you to kill yourself. He loves you too much for you to, to, to walk away and, and throw your life away with drugs, alcohol, and, and all kinds of other things that the enemy can use to, to, to create the devices that will keep you from this God who is able to love you in spite of all your situations. Come all you on. have to do is open up your mouth and ask God to help you. Right now, right here in this very moment, he will come in right where you are. Let me say to you, God is able to help you. Come on now. And and, and it's not worth it to let people take you out of your range and everything where you lose yourself. You know what I'm saying? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, people need to understand it's not worth it. It really isn't because there is light at the end of the tunnel. Amen. And this uh, this situation is just temporary. It won't always be this way. I just don't want the water to give. Don't give up. Don't give in. Don't don't kill yourself. Don't take your life. I mean, you can reach out and say, "Help me!" And, and there is help. There is help. Amen. Wow, wow. That song was really awesome. And I tell you, I think it'll definitely help a lot of people stay on track. <laughs> it ministers. Yes, ma'am. It ministers. That's awesome. Thank God. So, so I, I'm just so excited about that conference, you yes. know, because it, it, the, the reason that we really need to we need to push it because here's the thing: Go being ahead. a woman, the I Am God's Woman's Conference, uh-huh. um, October through through, through through the 12th. Yes. The reason that this conference is so important is because there are so many women in ministry who don't feel like their voice matters. Right. And I feel like it's awesome for Apostle Girl to put this conference on, to be able to help women to, to stand up and understand the gift that God placed inside of them and not to be silent when it comes to, to speaking what God gave them in their heart. If it's through music, because this, this conference is not just about ministry and, right. and preaching, but it's music and it's the gift, it's business, it's Come talent, on. 
you know, so, you know, it's just so awesome. And I'm grateful to the Lord to be married to a man who understands that whatever it is that God placed on the inside of me is not supposed to be uh, quiet. You know, my gifts are not supposed to operate just in the house of being a cleaner, a cook, a, you know, right. the mother, have the babies and, and go somewhere and be quiet. But he gives us the opportunity and the freedom to use the gifts that God gave us. And if you're a person who is looking for somebody to support you and you need to go out there, you need to get your name out there, you're branding, you're working, you're trying to become what God has given you, you need to get to the I Am God on this conference in Jacksonville, Florida. October the 10th through the 12th. It's going to be an awesome event, and I, I know for sure there's so many opportunities that are going to be there. All you have to do is get there. Right, and that is truth. Um, you're going to have, what, Ty Scott record label uh, be there. Um Oh, man, it's so many. Miss Madeline Few, oh, I can't wait to meet her. I mean, I've interviewed with her. She's uh the one that founded the uh, NBA uh, Super Bowl Choir. The gospel choir. Oh, wow. Uh-huh. Yeah, she'll yeah. be there. I'm telling you. And um, Joshua Coates, of course, with this new uh, project he got out in Iniquity. Um, mm-hmm. Man, I'm just, I'm excited for a lot of them. Chris Walker, man, I, I've, I've talked with him. He's a friend of mine. And um, he has a book out called uh, Lemons to Lemonades. Oh, my God. That man, the oh, guy wow. is off the chain. Yeah, he's he's off the chain. His story is off the chain. And um I just, I'll be there. I'll be there. I'm excited to be there <laughs> and to meet you all. I'm so excited about this conference that's coming up. And it's going to be so much knowledge in one building. Wow. Yes, ma'am. So much knowledge in one yes. building. And um, I'm so glad you're going to be there. And um, uh, can you share with us a little bit of your testimony? Something that God had sure. to deliver you and help you out of. Absolutely. There's so many so many things I can testify about. Um, one thing in particular I like to talk about is, you know, being born premature. Um, my mother, when she birthed me, I was only six and a half months, mm. and I was two pounds and three ounces. Wow. And the doctors, they told them that I have I had a 50% chance to live, and that if I lived, that I would not walk, mm. I would not speak, I would not be able to speak above a whisper. Hmm. I would not be able to do things that normal children do. And then if I did see, I would wear glasses and stick a Coca-Cola bottle, oh. and I would walk on stilts. But God has not only eliminated everything that they said, but he gifted me and anointed me on top of it. Hmm. So I walk fine, I see fine, see. I preach, sing, dance, <laughs> run, shout, you know, I, I was stricken with asthma up until the age of eight years old. Wow. And I wanted to receive the Holy Ghost so bad at, at around the age of eight. And I asked the Lord to come in and touch me. He touched me. I received the Holy Spirit. And I never had another asthma attack. So the power of God is real. And the power and anointing of God for healing and all that came upon me because the devil tried to use those doctors to shape and mold my life. Mm-hmm. And God used that testimony to help me to be a witness and someone who can walk in the power and authority of, of healing and miracles because of the miracle that I am. So I'm grateful to the Lord. And, and I don't take anything for granted. When I wake up in the morning, it's thank you, Lord, that I can see still today. I can walk today. You know, because the enemy will try to come in. He'll try to tell you you're not healed. He's going to tell you you're not the good. But mm-hmm. you know what? You have to tell him right back. It's already done. Come you're on, not taking my healing. So God is so awesome. That's my testimony, at least part of my testimony. Right. And I'm just going to be so happy to be there and to be able to share it with everyone that comes out to the conference. I'll be a part of the panel. I'll be at the showcase. I'll be at the hair show. I'm just excited about what's going to happen. And uh, I'm looking forward to seeing you and everybody out there. Wait a minute. So you're a hairstylist as well, a cosmetologist? No, no, ma'am, but I have some of the craziest hair in gospel music. <laughs> 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 and I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring it. I'm gonna do my best to bring my stylist with me. She's one of the baddest stylists in the state of Michigan and around the world. And I want her to be able to, to showcase her talent and her gift. And uh, if she can't be there, I'm gonna walk that runway nice and proud so everybody can see what she does. Uh-huh. <laughs> That is awesome. Well, I am a cosmetologist. I can't wait to see it. 
I've, oh, wow. I've, yes, I've, yeah. <laughs> I've done some wild styles too. And, um, I tell you, that's exciting. That's exciting. I, I was able to do these girls hair. They had, they wanted red, white, and blue hair. <laughs> oh. <laughs> they wanted the flag in their head. I, I put a, a heart. Oh, my <laughs> I put a pink heart in a lady's hair. She wanted it for Valentine's Day. <laughs> pink and red. It was too cute. So oh, I, wow. <laughs> I'm looking forward to seeing some styles from you then. I, I, well, I won't be on this, the hairstyling panel there, but I tell you what, I can't wait to see what they're doing. <laughs> I'm just okay. excited to be there. Yes, I'm. I'm coming to to gleam and learn as much as I can because I've been in this industry now for about two years. So you all are the veterans. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, I understand. Yes, I need to. You know, I got to get my little feet wet a little bit more. I thank God for Apostle Vera Howard though for giving me the opportunity. You know, and um, allowing me to 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 be able to come come forth and um, share internet radio and to share. You know what I have uh, experienced. Like I said, I own beauty salons for over uh, ten years or so, and um, now into a new oh. career here, going into the music and radio industry, and it's it's just really exciting for me. Oh wow! Well, congratulations <laughs> to you. Yes, ma'am. So yeah, I served four years in the military, and I end up going through eleven surgeries. So I don't look like what I've been through. <laughs> Thank God for that. Hallelujah. And like you said, God, is, God is, he can do it. He will help you. He will help you. I promise you. Anybody listening yeah. out there, like Pastor said, he will help you. And um, I want you to share with the listening audience where um, they can get that awesome song. Uh, do you have an album out? Okay. No, ma'am. Just, just a single, single out. The album, yes, the album won't be out until around October, November. Okay. But, um... They can they can find this song on iTunes, Amazon, basically most most of the digital stores. Um, and also, you know, so it's iTunes, Amazon, and, and I think it's CD Baby and some others. But look for it there. I also have a music video on iTunes that goes along with this song. So you know, they're welcome to download that as well. Check me out at chjmusic.com. Chj, the it, it, it the initials for Clarita Hatton Jackson. Chjmusic.com. That is awesome. I'm looking at this picture here <laughs> with your blue and white mm-hmm. hair, your red eyes. <laughs> like, <laughs> yes, ma'am. That is awesome. That's awesome. I love it. We call it fantasy styling. <laughs> yes, ma'am. That's a t- I, I think I wake up at, I wake up in the fantasy every morning because I'm most days. <laughs> <laughs> that is awesome i tell you we call that a fantasy styling and i tell you what that is that is beautiful i love it your makeup is flawless <laughs> thank you so much and you, you look you look awesome so so here's thank another thing yes you said you had an opportunity to work with ludicrous and um a couple of the secular artists now you got yes, to share yeah. with us uh share with us how I mean, just just share with us how you get to minister to some of them, and I know it's exciting. I mean, and 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 does it does it actually drain you from having to minister so much for being the light and so a uh, mist of darkness, a lot of darkness? I mean, just share with us a little bit in, in reference to that. Well, you know what? It, it was actually really easy. Amen. It was extremely easy. You know, some people think it's hard to go into those type of atmospheres and deal with people and, you know, and the different things that they do to have fun. It's the opposite of what we do. Right. But um, the easy part was to go in and scare myself. The problem that I think people run into mm-hmm. is they go in and try to fit in. Okay. You okay. see, but when you just go in and you be yourself, so when you walk in, I'm, I, I didn't walk in to say, praise the Lord, right. but when I did walk in to say, hey, how you doing? I'm Clarita. They don't know I'm Pastor Clarita. They don't know I'm Minister Clarita. They don't know nothing about me. All they know is I'm Clarita, and Clarita sang on this song, <laughs> and, and we're going to sit down and listen to it, and when they start asking, okay, would you like something to drink? Would you like Would you like any there cigarettes? You would you like this? That? Oh, no, thank you. You know, I'll just have water. You know, and, and then they start asking you, okay, we've been here 12 hours and you haven't had one cigarette, you haven't had one drink. <laughs> How do you survive this type of atmosphere? And I go, I don't need anything. Okay. Uh, just make sure that's the food. <laughs> you know, and they, they start asking questions. And when, when they question you and ask you, why don't you, 
that's when you open the door, and that's the door opening for you to say, hey, well, you know, actually, I'm a minister, or, mm -hmm. I, you know, I'm a pastor, or whatever you would like to say, but right. you let them know that you stand for God, and that you don't you need those types of things to enjoy life. Come and they, then they are intrigued, and, and they, well, they, they get inquisitive, and they start asking you questions, well, why don't you drink, and why don't you, and you say, hey, Simply because it's the morals and standards that I go by as a woman of God, and I don't need those types of things. Sure. And it gets crazy. Sometimes they, they, they like, to, you know, they, they might talk, try to talk to you, ask you to go out on a date or something. You say, you know what, I'm married, and I'm happy. <laughs> yeah. but, and, and, it, and it scares people because they, they've never ran into people who are, are, who are so sincere that they won't bow at all. Wow, we help me. So many people that come. It's so many people that come out of the church right. that they don't keep their standards when they go to the other side. Right. See? Well, Pastor, you go over there and you stand. Right. It's a big difference. Pastor, help me with this because I, I have to. I do stand, and I'm a single woman. Okay, so when I meet them mm -hmm. and they want to take me on a date, and I'm single, it's like. Um, I, I tell them, you know, I wouldn't date anyone that's not saved. First of all, I, I don't date unsaved men. That offends them. Oh my God, help me out! I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> and you know what? Yes, it's easily. You know, people can get offended. They can get offended, but you just have to be real with them. You think, you know what? I don't want to make that decision for me. It's not the best decision for me. I'm trying to take care of me, and if they don't understand that, then they don't deserve your time. See. So I, I wouldn't worry about them being offended because you, your soul salvation is what's important. You come know, on. and if they don't want to accept the God you serve and they don't want to say, hey, come to church, get yourself together, maybe we'll talk later. You know, See. if they don't want to do that, then God bless them. If, if that's not your husband, keep them moving. <laughs> Well, that's good. You sure enough helped me then because I'm like, Lord, is it another approach I should be making? Because that's all I know to tell them is I really wouldn't date an unsaved man. The guy say, you mean to tell me I can't take you to get you something to eat? <laughs> and, and say, not unless, you, not unless you're, you're interested in coming to church afterwards. <laughs> I said no. I don't. I, I don't mean no harm, but I can go get my own something to eat. You know what I'm saying? I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. I appreciate it, though. <laughs> and that is funny. And I was like, I know one. He's like, how you make me feel like I'm a bad person or something. And I mean, I was like, wow, wow. It's just, it's just not the one for me unless you want to work on changing. Right, and that's what this, this person here was like, you know, they don't drink, they don't smoke, they don't cuss, they live a up, you know, pretty pretty upright life, they just don't go to church. And I'm like, you know what, that was kind of a hard to minister type person, but um, at the same time it wasn't because, like I told him, I said, well, it sounds like you got the natural together, brother, you just need to get that supernatural in there, you're going to be all right. <laughs> all right. Exactly. Exactly. Hey. You're putting that bug in his ear. Maybe, maybe, maybe God will send somebody else to water it. Come on now, that's great. So that is awesome. So going on the other side, and you're right. You don't go just, you know, like I'm. I'm saved. They can see it on you when you come. They will see it uh -huh. on you. That is awesome. Well, is it anything else you want the listening audience to know about Pastor Claritha Hatton? And um, just tell us where you're going. I mean, what we can expect from you. Well, you know, I, I'm going to continue to preach and pastor at Kingdom Culture Church in Detroit, Michigan. The address there is 8809 School Class, Detroit, Michigan, 48238. And then also, you know, I want to continue to make the music that God has given me. And make sure that if you're anywhere near Jacksonville, Florida, I told her that you are there. Amen. That's what I'm talking about. And there you have it, Pastor Claritha Hatton Jackson. And, um... I tell you, it's just a privilege and an honor again to speak with you on today, and um, I won't hold you any longer. Oh, you, know, you have an here. awesome and blessed day. I appreciate your time. Hey, man, I will, and you do the same. Um, we'll be looking out for your music. Give us the website again. chjmusic.com. Okay, and you're on Facebook and um, LinkedIn yes, and all Facebook the other. Uh, Clarita Hatton Jackson on Facebook, on Twitter, it's I believe Claret J on Instagram is DJAC56 on social cam Clarita and Jackson. 
But uh, we are working on rebranding everything to Terry the Hat and Jackson because uh, when I was doing the other music, I was Claret J. So we're moving all of that over to Clarita the Hat and Jackson. So keep your eyes and ears open. Okay. Check me out on the website and you see when the changes are coming. Great. So you're going from, from doing the secular music to the gospel? Yes, ma'am. Oh, that is awesome. Well, how was that switch? How, you said how was the switch? Uh-huh. Yes. Oh, well, it was, it was pretty easy because I never stopped singing gospel music. Okay. So I, I was singing on all, all my brother's records. Just You know, just recently I was on the League, League, of, uh, League of Extraordinary Worshippers record that he did out there in Los Angeles. Okay. Uh, I was on that. I was, I was, I've been singing on any record that he does and, and uh, the Red album. We, I did Raining Red on that song uh, with him. And, uh, you know, so I've never stopped singing gospel. I just was doing that other stuff on the side as well. But now I'm just uh, singing my own music, writing my own gospel, Christian. Some of it's a little, it a little rock, but it's, it's gospel. That's awesome. That is awesome. Well, I tell you what, I'll be this. I'll be listening in for it, and I um, definitely will um, uh, look you up on Facebook, and um, we'll we'll just keep in touch and keep a pushing. Thank and you so much always, for playing the song. Yes, ma'am. I'll continue to play it, and you're always welcome to the Faith Walk and Faithful broadcast right here with the King's daughter Naomi. Uh, I look forward to talking to you soon. Amen. We're going to go out with um again. I love this song with Ruth Lunch. It's so good. So we're going to play that again. <laughs> so God bless you, Pastor. Thank you so much for calling in. Bless you. All Talk right. to you soon. Yes, ma'am. Look forward to seeing you at the conference. Yes, ma'am. I'll see you there. All right. God bless. Bye-bye. that I love you How does it feel To know that I care How does it feel To know that I'll always Be there How does it feel To know that I hold you When times are hard And when you go through How does it feel To know you won't be in it alone It feels good Good to me It feels good Good to me It feels good How does it feel to keep a smile? How does it feel to have people ask why you don't ever frown? How does it feel to always have plenty? How does it feel to never go without? How does it feel? How does it feel being my child?